The precipitation, one of our favorite chemical reactions. It's the formation of a solid from two inorganic salts. Let's take a closer look. Precipitation reactions are really cool. Take an example. I just combined two soluble inorganic compounds, one being silver nitrate, the other sodium chloride. When I mix them together, it appeared as though I've just created something from nothing. The reason behind this is something that we refer to in chemistry as solubility. This is a solid sodium chloride crystal. When water molecules come into contact with the crystal, they rip it apart, ion by ion, in a process known as solvation. This happens because water has areas of positive and negative charge. These are solvation forces. Table salt dissolves because the attraction of the ions to water is greater than the attractions within the crystal. It's these intermolecular attractions that are the reason why anything dissolves in water. Now, of course, not everything can dissolve in water. And it's for that reason that the precipitation reaction occurs. We have our beaker of dissolved sodium chloride. Let's say we add in a solution of silver nitrate. What happens? In this solution, our ions are always colliding with one another. If two of those ions, say silver and chloride, collide, and they can make a stronger bond to each other than the surrounding water molecules, they form a new insoluble solid compound, silver chloride. Simply put, these are double displacement reactions. We take two molecules comprised of cations and anions. When we mix them together, their ions exchange to form two new compounds, where one of them precipitates out of solution as a solid. This was a comprehensive look at precipitation reactions. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comments below. This channel, Chemistry in Context, has been a passion project between Garrett and I. 
Each video takes a lot of time and money to produce. If you'd like to help make these videos possible and allow us to produce them quickly, er, consider following this link and becoming one of our Patreon supporters. This was Chemistry in Context. Until next time, as always, stay safe.